Earthquake. Earthquake. Experts say it's not if, but when the big one will hit. And when it does, a Cascadia earthquake shaking will damage cities. But it's the tsunami that could kill thousands. And the earthquake initiates. Karina Forsen with the Washington Geological Survey shows us a simulation of the tsunami hitting Washington's coast and flowing through Puget Sound. It could resemble the 2011 tsunami in Japan, destroying everything in its path. It's going to mean significant damage to infrastructure and a significant loss of life. And the worst of it will be here on the coast, where waves up to 60 feet tall, moving like walls of concrete, could devastate these towns. That means that uh, you better know your evacuation routes and you better run as quickly as possible. Maximilian Dixon and state emergency management are creating new evacuation maps for several towns, showing how to walk to high ground given roads would be impassable. But these maps reveal a horrifying reality. For many people, there won't be time. Just look at Long Beach, where it could take some people 60 or 70 minutes to get to safety. Problem is, the tsunami hits in less than 30. What's the reality for people who live in those areas? Well, people are going to die. That's the concern in Ocean Shores. Well, the neighborhood is pretty well gone if we have a really large tsunami. Mayor Crystal Dingler and her husband live near the center of this town of 6,500. It would certainly inundate us and cover the living area of our house and up to the roof and maybe cover the roof. The science says that we would not have enough time to get out of town. A tsunami would destroy most of these homes. Unless it's a structure or infrastructure that's been specifically designed to withstand the forces of the tsunami and it's built high enough. How many buildings like that do we have on our coast? We have one. Acosta Elementary in Westport, the only vertical evacuation structure in North America. This is an evacuation drill with their students. If the big one hits, people in Westport will have a walkable shelter. Now the state wants to build more vertical evacuation structures across the coast. They're studying how many they need. It's likely dozens. What's the timeline? Decades. It's going to cost tens and tens of millions of dollars. But for now, this, this is what there is. Mayor Dingler hopes to break ground on a $5 million structure in Ocean Shores next year. But they're waiting to hear if FEMA approves $3.6 million in funding. It's not a want, it's a need. Given the grim reality on the horizon. It's really an opportunity for people to save themselves and perhaps save their neighbors. On Washington's coast, Gabe Cohen, Como News. Dozens of schools are in the tsunami zone. Tomorrow night, Gabe takes us through an evacuation drill at an elementary school in Aberdeen where every second counts after an earthquake. Plus, he'll share their effort to rebuild the school.